Greetings and welcome to another building showcase. I am Darkling and today we're back on the Ark Center map. This is from Midnight Victoria's subserver. It is another recovered save, but I've spent the last uh, probably about a week just on and off uh, jumping on it and trying to finalize the build. So the main structure has been done for quite some time. Uh, decorations and painting haven't. So uh, shout out to King Willie for helping me out with sorting out my paint palette, making sure I've got the color scheme properly. I am colorblind, so I do have trouble with that kind of thing. Um, but I present to you the UFO build. Uh, I do believe this is going to be the epitome of my building. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to do anything better than this, but we'll see. I've got a few few things up my sleeve that I'm, I'm planning to build next. Uh, it's got a set of six thrusters. Uh, weapon system going to the middle of it. Uh, there is little uh, outcroppings around the structure. Those were added cosmetically. They aren't necessarily practical. I think one of them actually has something in it that's practical, but uh, it was mostly just to break up the lines. But we're going to get into it and have a look around. So stick around and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Okay, as per usual, we are going to start this one in the air, uh, however, we are not going to be using a flyer this time, I am using creative mode fly because it has the better speed and control, uh, I want you guys to get a, a better view of it without having to worry about the RG wings flapping around. So this is the UFO build, I am exceedingly proud of this structure, it didn't take as long as you might imagine, uh, like I said in the intro, it is completely legitimate foundations. The foundations below are connected via the C-pin, and I think it came out pretty good. Uh, I did have to get some help with the colors. Being colorblind is a real pain. Um, so I had the colors down okay, I just needed verification of where I should be using them. And yeah, King Willie helped me out. We jumped in a voice chat the other day and ran through, a, uh, ran through it with, uh, we had Discord screen sharing going. So that we could just just verify that the color seams were were going well, because people who are colorblind, we often mix and match colors that are not really designed to go together, and it was actually looking pretty good. Uh, a few of the ch design changes he suggested. We've got the green band that runs around the very edge of the structure. Um, he helped me out with the idea of coloring the outcroppings. So I definitely wanted those colored, but I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it. Um, I ended up deciding not to color the whole underside and just do a little bit of a trim around the outside and basically painting the whole of the top side. So the idea behind painting it, I generally don't paint a lot of my structures, but we, we had so much silver going on that it was very hard to differentiate different parts of the structure from each other. They, they tend to blur into each other and it, it was becoming a little bit a little bit of an eyesore so with a little bit of color in here we definitely get a lot more of a, a visual feast so one of the suggestions he had was to run a lighter green through the middle of the forest green now I did have a bit of the light green throughout the build but uh, I added this in at his suggestion and it, it looks good uh, even I can see it so basically the weapon head, whoop, looks like we had a bit of a service save there the weapon head there is the light green and that follows up and out on both sides so I think it I think it ties in quite nicely this is the main weapon system you can see a tech elevator hidden away in there and as you can see if I could try and go through here we hit solid mass from where the glass stem is so you can fly around this but you can't fly directly underneath it the weapon systems themselves I messed around with for quite a while getting an overlay technique that that kind of kind of went with the structure. So what we're going to do is we're going to head down to the bottom of the ramp and we're going to access the structure as you would if you were coming via land. Uh, there is a bridge over there so you can can do that. Okay so we'll start at the bottom and we'll work our way up. 
uh, we'll prioritize, prioritize the most important parts of the build and look at the vanity projects after. So open up the hatch frame and that accesses the C pen. So the foundation work is all in here in glass foundations and made invisible. So this was all fed by a uh, industrial forge that's over by what we call Batman Island or Skull Island. And basically we I just went through and made it all invisible, try and drop that uh, FPS problem. If you have a lot of glass foundations it does tend to drop your FPS a bit a little. Uh, I'm currently running 45 FPS 46, 28, 21. Okay, so I do have a bit of a drop. I'm running absolute max settings uh, on this recording, so yeah, it, it, it's to be expected. So I've got a dynamic gate at the bottom there, and this is a little neat little feature I've added. I think you guys might enjoy. So I've basically used double door frames and run uh, railings below them, and it turns out that you can basically drive a raft directly through a double door frame. So you don't need gates for your rafts, you can literally just drive over it. Um, it's so close to the surface that Manta and whatnot can't get over, so it turned out to be a pretty useful little useful little tool. Okay, so we'll circle back around and we'll head back up. I do have a taming pen and whatnot over there, I'm not going to bother showing you that. I've, I've got better on my other recordings. So we'll head up here and have a look at the main deck. I, I, don't, I don't really know what you'd want to call this part. Um, this is kind of like the landing pad for the UFO. Kind of like, yeah. Um, so if you look down, you can see more of the structure. We'll have a proper look at this though. Uh, there's a lot of shaping going on here. I spent a while trying to get this right. I actually built this part before the UFO and I was trying to get my eye in as to how everything was going to snap. Now, this particular build was done with uh, S Plus and the Homestead. Now, I built this around the time the Homestead was added. So, if you guys remember the Homestead update where they were meant to be adding the S Plus functionality in, I don't think they did it quite as well as they could have. Uh, there was a lot of problems and it caused S Plus to have problems, like uh, the slope tri roofs snap like a foot apart. Uh, so, yeah, it wasn't ideal, but I worked through it. It, but it does mean that there's a lot of snapping in here that doesn't work quite as well as it should have. But uh, all these are connected together, like I can't move forward here. All these are connected together with glass. Uh, I separated them out just to give a nice little uh, nice little look about them. I dropped the first little bit off and I was like, okay, that, that kind of looks okay, but it doesn't look complete. So I added each one and stepped back and had another look. And it it wasn't working until I actually got the that very last little bit on the bottom. And I think without that, it wouldn't actually work quite as well as it would have. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys reckon? I think I think that looks pretty damn good. I really do. So we'll just, let's go up into the actual structure. So we'll jump off here. Uh, normally, I do like to color my glass so it does look like glass. I don't like it being completely transparent unless you're looking downwards. Uh, in which case that's a great way to freak people out who hey, don't like heights um, and you also get a really good look at the structure below uh, which I, I really like that's something that I always include in my builds the ability to look down uh, so we're going up into the structure so this is the UFO internals and as you can see I've got a bunch of wrecks standing there so that'll give you a rough idea on how big this is uh, so we look around they've got a little bit of a temple there uh, various little bits of storage. There's not a lot of dinos in here. I actually kept it very minimal while I was building it. I didn't want to have to deal with the uh, the lag that comes with lots and lots of dinos. So we kept it pretty simple. And if I run away and look up, this is the control room area. This was where all the crafting and whatnot is. So it's got some it's got some nice shape to it. I, I really dig this build. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and look through the center structure first, so all the crafting area, and this is pretty reminiscent of most of my builds. You know, all the storage around the outside, crafting area, I like to keep everything fairly central. There's enough height here we can drop a Rex in uh, via the elevator and still be able to unload it. It, it looks pretty good. Uh, off here we have three little uh, exits. And this one here goes to the beetles. And 
the gardener because the the crop plots are in the what you'd call, I'd call that the bioreactor. The engine is meant to look like a engine for the ship. Uh, unfortunately, the gardener only has certain range, so that's where she had to go. Come down to this one, and we oh, little lag there. Uh, come down into this one, and we have the actual kitchen. Uh, I would have preferred that the gardener was in here, but it doesn't quite reach. We go into the third one, and that one is the preserving room. Uh, most of you that have actually followed me for quite a while will know I do not like doing preserving, so I always do a huge quantity of preserving bins and just do a whole bunch at once. Uh, I just prefer it. It means I have to do it less often. And if we carry on around, there's three exits also that go up onto the main flyer deck. And I actually really like how this deck turned out. Uh, originally I had it without the windows and it looked really really wrong so I shaped some windows inwards and added some you know add, added something a little bit more of interest uh, I also added this little overlappy feel whoops okay I'll explain that in a moment um, so yeah that that basically added like a, a little bit of shape to it something to make it a bit more interesting and you'll notice I fell through a window there that is because of the uh, problem that I was talking about before about S plus stuff not snapping together properly because of the uh, the update at the time. I'm pretty sure that's been fixed if you have the right settings in your uh, server settings, but it meant that I couldn't actually place glass in the very center of this because it tried to separate it by a foot, and I just had to call it quits and just make it look like there was glass there. So we'll come back down to the main structure. And you'll see there's another little telepad here. Now we saw the receiving pad for this when we were underneath the structure. If we go into here, we can obviously see downwards from the weapon system. And that looks down on the structure and it looks good. Like there's a lot going on down there. You can see a lot. Uh, this room itself is meant to be the weapon head. Now I, I kind of feel like I should actually adjust this a little bit because looking from the outside, you couldn't actually see any of this and it's kind of meant to look a little bit like a weapon head so from inside it definitely does from outside you don't really see it so maybe I should have made a little bit of a change there but this is actually the generator room uh, the whole structure has been running on electrical generator uh, for most of its life I did add the tech generator in over uh, later on but it's mostly running on both at this point so we'll come back out of here and we'll head back up into the main structure and back down to the main deck okay so from here uh, we have a couple of things that are still basically priority um, sections before we get into the vanity builds so this is the crop plots uh, what I call the bioreactor and there is a lot of crop plots in here now crop plots I am aware do cause a little bit of lag this is not really a problem uh, as you can see, I'm hitting 43, well, actually you guys probably can't see the overlay, 43 FPS at the moment, it's not too bad. Uh, a lot of crop plots do tend to slow things down, but I didn't have this many running when it was actually live on the server. I, I filled it up when I was doing um, prepping for the record. Uh, now, unfortunately, for some reason, the half walls, I can't um, change them anymore. They used to be able to be modeled, and I can't make the model with no sides anymore. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm guessing it's a bug, but with Orion Sun calling it quits, I would say that's probably something that won't get fixed. Uh, now our time of day is looking a little bit funky, so let's uh, let's reset the time of day. We'll go for 10 o'clock and just get a bit more white. Did I do that right? Yep, that's right. Okay, so it is a little bit brighter. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, so from here, we'll go up to the back of the bioreactor, and this is the library. Uh, it's very basic. I, I've done a lot of libraries, and each one is different from the previous one, I, I like to think. This one here, I kept it fairly simple. Uh, unfortunately, none of the mods that we have running have actual bookshelves with books on them. Uh, that was something that King Willie pointed out, and I, I went through all the mods we had, and I could not find a single bookshelf that, that fit in there that actually had books on it. So from here, we're looking at the vanity projects. 
So we have various things around the outside. We'll get to the temple uh, in the end, I think. So we have the armory. So this is one of the first outcroppings, other than the library, obviously. Uh, at this point, I was filling in space. Uh, like it happens a lot with a lot of my builds. I add rooms in, and I'll just fill them with a little bit of a, a little bit of a vanity project, just to make it look like there's something more going on. This is the map room or cartography room. Uh, We've got Scorched Earth, uh, the island map, and the centre map. I really like these, I think they're quite cool. I, I do wish the tables were a little bit nicer than just wooden ones, but you know, what can you do? And let's come out of here. Now I want to I wanna leave that till last, because I do quite like it. Uh, let's go straight across here and go to the other side. So this is the entrance to the base by a flyer and yeah, you probably saw it from the outside it's fairly fairly obvious to see oh, I'm trying to get into fly mode there we go and um, yeah it's fairly obvious to see and as you come in there's teeth above and below hopefully to catch any flyers that are just one you know, like trying to follow you in like a demorphodon or anything just to get them hooked up so that the plant species X might might do a bit more damage before they get anywhere uh, I don't expect anything to come up this high, I mean we are pretty high off the ground, the chances are pretty slim, but uh, it was on the off chance that I had any trolls that decided to try and bring something in here and cause trouble. I plan for the worst, uh, I hope for the best. We carry on around here, whoops, I'm still flying, we have the prison, and we have some dudes hanging out in the prison cells at the moment, we've got a few empty ones at this point, and we have a high security one upstairs here. It's got its own guards. So he, he's been a bad boy. I don't ask me what he's been up to, but um, they won't let me let him go. So he must be a, must be misbehaving a fair bit. Uh, okay, so now we come on to the Temple of the Dark Clown. Now, I'm really happy with how this structure turned out. I wanted to try and make sure this build had something that didn't look like most arc builds. I wanted to change it up and make it look interesting. Uh, it didn't have to be a temple or anything like that, it was just something interesting. Uh, it became a temple though. So, for those of you that follow me, I have a dark clown theme going through my YouTube and my Twitch. And this is kind of just tying in with that. So, as you can see, we have our pews. Now, I was going to go with the uncomfortable wooden pews that a lot of churches use. And it's like, well, you know, they kind of make you suffer those pews. And it's like, this is, this is mine. I'm going to make... I'm going to make my worshippers comfortable. So, uh, yeah, we, we've got couches. Now, around the outside, you'll see all the dark clowns. Now, all of those are actually mannequins. There is only one that isn't, and that's the one at the end here. And that's actually me. That is... I, I stuffed myself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so we have the altar, and if we go over to the corner here, there is a little teleporter heading upwards. And this is the high priest's room. Now there was something I was going to add in here, but uh, it, it, I decided it was a little bit too, uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't think altar boys should be in here like we were going to have, it, it would have, I think it would have changed the feel of the video a little bit. Um, so yeah, it's a basic room, we've got a map, we've got various little bits and pieces, uh, I even made sure the cups looked like they were uh, pointing in directions that if somebody was actually using them, they, the handles would be in at least roughly the right direction. Uh, so yeah, I, I really like the eco mods um, for the stained glass. I actually really dig that. I would actually have liked the stained glass to have been added into the S Plus mod. I think that would have been pretty epic. I mean, obviously it's not going to happen, but that, that would be something that I would love. Now, you'd notice that there's a lot of structure under here. So we'll get to that momentarily, and let's go up above the temple, and this is, okay, uh, before we go in there, I'm going to show you something that I don't like. Uh, now, you'll notice that a lot of these are snapped very nicely, the things show quite well, everything looks okay. Now, like I said earlier in the recording, the Homestead Edition did provide some problems with snapping. Uh, so as you can see there are some gaps. You do end up with these gaps on larger builds with the tries. It's really unavoidable um, unless you take 10-30 times longer 
to place every single tile perfectly. Um, but when you get to certain points, you can't do much about it at all. This is the worst snapping in the whole structure. Uh, if I had a ceiling in here, it would have worked fine, and I probably could have snapped it all together without too much hassle like the others, but unfortunately I can't have the tile there, otherwise you can't use it as a doorway. It didn't quite work out for me, but I've I've got a I gotta walk away from it. It's it can't be fixed. So here is the uh, tavern or, or cafe or whatever you want to call it. It's where the crew feed themselves. Again, fairly simple, another eco mod. Um, bit of decoration in here. I don't normally use the eco mods, but they were installed on the server that I was playing on, so I, I went with it. And uh, tucked behind here is the public bathroom. So pretty, pretty straightforward. And from here, we can go out the other side. And I just need to find where the harvesters are. So we'll run over where the harvesters are. And that is the one thruster I left open. So if we duck as we go down here, this is the internal structure of the thruster. Uh, you'll notice in the middle is like a nice charry blackness, which is great. Uh, it is painted black with uh, metal. And if we go on the outside, obviously all this is a glass with a blue tint to it. The torches, I went with torches because they have a flicker to them. If you use just regular lighting, it's brighter, but you don't have that flicker to it. And I really wanted the flicker for the to make the thrusters look like they were on. Now you'll also notice that there is stone above me. Uh, if we go back above, uh, where's the exit? Did I just walk past it? Yeah, you'll notice that there's a ring of stone around the outside of every single one of the thrusters. The stone reflects color better. So I I had that around the outside to reflect the blue downwards and it, it worked pretty well. I'm, I'm pretty stoked with that. So yeah, looking around the build, this is a fairly sizable structure, you could easily hold 20-30 rexes in here without too much hassle. Uh, obviously there's more space on top of the build, but mostly for flyers. I could, in theory, uh, if we jump up here and head outside, in theory I could take the top off this and actually make it a teleporter pad and actually allow uh, like Rexes to come up here and actually move around as well. It wouldn't be too hard. I could even put a an awesome teleporter pad up here as well and do it that way. But I kind of felt like there was enough space down below for it to basically basically fill up in here. I, I think it would work. I've got a lot of the flyers inside at the moment. They could go on the roof as well. I mean, it's not too much of a hassle. Now you'll notice that there is an intake popping out there. That is the only thing that isn't default. So uh, this particular server that is running at the moment doesn't have it set, but when I built this, uh, S Plus was at complete default, so all this is completely legit if you want to just install S Plus and have a go, uh, but we did have intakes anywhere, uh, anywhere set, so uh, yeah, I, I made use of that. There is piping around the base, and it wouldn't be hard to run piping down to the water, but I went with it because it cuts down structure count, and that's always a problem for me but um yeah that's that's the that's the ufo build so we're going to have a look at it at night and go from there okay so before we head outside i have set it to night time uh, this is what it looks like at night inside now before i head outside to show you the rest i did want to point out this uh this is a spiral self-supporting ramp. The the actual crop plots and whatnot on the inside was added as afterthought, but each ramp either side of this little door frame, if we actually run up here, we can actually make it to the outside. So we're going to use that to go outside and have a look around. And there is not much lighting on the very top of the UFO. I kind of figured that it didn't really need a huge amount of lighting on top. Uh, the underside, let's just drop down a little bit. So, now if I added more torches into the thrusters, I found that the color bled through to other areas. It's not the most colorful thing. I actually think the build looks better during the day. But as you can see, there is a little bit of a flickeringness to the thrusters because of the torches. I do like that. Uh, a lot of the white light comes through from the main crafting area and the weapon system. It 
kind of bleeds through a little bit more. Normally my builds, uh, I, I find I like them more at night time. This one here, I think actually looks better during the day. It's probably one of the first builds I've done that does. Uh, other than the main structure down here, I do think down here actually looks pretty damn good at night. Although I think that pad at the top there could probably do with a little bit more lighting. So this is this is how it looks. You know, it still looks interesting. You've still got that nice blue glow going on from the thrusters. I, I dig it. I dig it. And obviously down here, it's... Wow, it looks amazing. Well, I always love the look of torches going up the ramps. Looks good. And um, yeah, actually the UFO itself looks pretty good from this angle too. So I hope you enjoyed the build as much as I did. I really enjoyed playing from this build. I'm glad to see it finally done and posted. I've been looking forward to getting this live for quite a while, see what you guys think. Uh, I do believe this is the absolute best build that I've done and probably the best build that I'm going to do. We'll, we'll see, I've got a few things in the works. Uh, if you think one of my other builds is better, leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me why you think it's better. And if you haven't already, drop us a like down the bottom, subscribe at the top, hit that bell icon if you haven't already. There is two links in the description below for both my Discord and my Twitch if you want to catch me live stream. The Discord, I post screenshots and things like that if you want to check those out. Otherwise, take care, and as always, enjoy your building.